happy birthday, Maya, Julius, and the little boy called. How old are you turning, Stephen Oji-chan? asked the little boy. Forty-two, Stephen beamed. It's a good age. Maya looked at her father in disbelief. What are you talking about? she asked. Forty-two is one of the most unlucky ages you can be. Don't you know anything? Julius looked at his sister. Don't tell me you actually believe that nonsense, he asked. It's not nonsense, Maya yelled. Everyone who turns an unlucky age has to pass through all sorts of crazy things just to make it to their next birthday. Julius laughed. Ah, oh, my dear little sister, how little you know. Maya glared at her brother. Wah! Her protests were cut short, however, as her cousin tugged on her sleeve. Maya and A-chan, is something bad going to happen to Stephen Oji-chan? He asked. Maya beamed at him. Yep, she grinned. The little boy started to cry. Uh, I'm just kidding, she said. Don't worry, Dad'll be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen to him. Maya suddenly felt an overwhelming urge to hug her cousin. Oh, you are just so cute, she squealed. You're so much better than my stupid brother. Uh, I wish you could be my little brother. I remember when my parents turned the unlucky ages, Stephen said, ignoring Maya and Julius. Feels like it was just yesterday. Not long after your dear grandmother turned 33, she wanted to send a letter to her incredibly awesome son, who was away at boarding school because he was too smart for regular school. Anyways, she was about to leave her house so she could send me, I mean, her awesome son a letter, when she was attacked by one of the local sheep. It had broken into her house and was eating her furniture. Julius shuddered. Ugh, sheep, he said. Stephen continued his story. It was a small town. Anyways, because of that sheep, your grandmother ended up leaving really late, much later than she had intended. By then, the weather was starting to turn bad. Your grandmother wasn't the type to give up easily, though, so she continued to press on. Unfortunately for her, the neighbor's dog really liked to play outside on windy days. It also really didn't like your grandmother. When she was finally able to get away from it, she collapsed on the ground, only to have the litter blow away in a sudden gust of wind. Stephen sighed. Uh, it really is too bad she wasn't able to deliver that letter. I was living off instant noodles for so long. I would have been really happy to have received my allowance that month. Wait a minute, Maya interrupted. That doesn't sound like Grandma suffered at all. It sounds more like it was your bad year. Julius nodded his agreement. Besides, he said, how is getting chased by a dog bad luck? I get chased by animals all the time. If you think that's bad, Stephen said, ignoring them, wait until you hear what happened to your grandfather. The day your grandfather turned the still very young age of 42, he received a massive present from his parents. Wanting to put it in the house, but not sure if it would fit, he decided to measure it. Unfortunately for him, he didn't have the proper tools at the time, or at least he didn't know how to use them so he decided to improvise. At first, he tried measuring how many katana lengths it was. When he was doing this, though, he forgot to take two things into consideration. The first was that the object was incredibly heavy. The second was that he decided to place that incredibly heavy object on an incredibly flimsy stand. Needless to say, it didn't end overly well for your grandfather. It's never been quite the same since. See? Maya shouted. It's a bad luck age. Julius scoffed. All those stories proved was that animals are scary and Grandpa's not allowed near sharp objects. It had nothing to do with how old they were at the time. I think this whole thing is... As Julius spoke, a man came running past. Run for your lives, he called. The sheep got out. Maya blinked. We have sheep? She asked, looking confused. Julius laughed. Better run, Dad. Otherwise, the sheep will make your year... Wait. Julius stopped talking as the sheep turned to him. Go away, stupid sheep! Everyone laughed as the sheep chased Julius into the distance.